The Madness is here, and I've got a hot one for you. This Friday, March the 19th, Georgia Tech is taking on Loyola Chicago, and I've got your free pick coming right up. I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and I've got Nick Parsons with me to give me the scoop. What's going on, Nick? Yeah, I mean, this is a really interesting game here, Ali. Uh, did you want to talk a little bit more about the teams here or introduce them a little bit more? Or do you want me just to get right into it here? Well, I was going to give you the numbers here. So okay. I'm showing Loyola is the favorite, minus three points. And I've got a total of 125 and a hook. So what do we got going on here? Well, this is the eight and nine seed. Uh, they both come in red hot. Both of these teams come in off conference tournament championship victories. Uh, Loyola got the better of Drake 75 to 65 in the Missouri uh, Valley final and the Ramblers finished 24 and four overall. Uh, Georgia Tech upset Florida State 80 to 75 in the ACC title game last weekend. So yeah, both teams come in on lengthy win streaks. But for me, Ali, the depth and the experience that Loyola brings to the table here, that's going to be the difference maker for me. Uh, in particular, the, their big center there, Cameron Cup. Uh, Cameron Crutwig. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's definitely a battle-tested center. He's a senior. He won player of the year uh, for the Missouri Valley this season, and he actually helped the Ramblers reach the final four uh, in his freshman season in 2018. And the Ramblers are deep, as I said. They have seven different players uh, averaging at least seven points per game this year. But the, the Ramblers usually get the job done with their tough defensive play, they're number one in the country in adjusted defensive efficiency, according to Ken Palm. That's allowing just 85.9 points per 100 possess possessions. Wow. Obviously, Georgia Tech has one of the best defenses as well. Uh, it forced 25 turnovers against the Seminoles there. Um, I mean, the Yellow Jackets have been red hot here, Ali. I mean, this spread, it's so close there. But I think, yeah, the experience that Crutwig brings here, uh, it's going to help his team cover in this upcoming game. And so that's it for me. And But one other thing I just wanted to point out here is that Illinois is facing Drexel. And so the winner of that will play the winner of this. And so, yeah, if Loyola gets through, then it's the in-state ri rivalry there. And so that's definitely what I'm expecting to see on Sunday. I like it. And I'm with you here. I've followed Loyola Chicago for years. I love the Missouri Valley. Um, it's been fun to watch them battle it out with Drake. And I think they're really in a spot where even though, like you said, they did go to the final four a couple years back, they're a not people don't think about them. You know, they don't get the respect the respect that I feel like they think they deserve and they do deserve. Um, so that just adds a little bit of extra motivation here. I think if you told me that Georgia Tech was going to win the ACC, I don't know if I would have believed you. And I really like Georgia Tech, that Alvarado kid is, I mean, he's lights out cool, man, like as yeah. the other side of the pillow, cool. But I think Loyola Chicago has some extra motivation here. And like you said, that senior center, how are you going to stop him? You know, so I'm with you, Nick Parsons. That's how we're going to roll on this one. We're taking Loyola Chicago minus the three points on Friday against Georgia Tech.